Saturday Night Hockey, the Monsters face off against the Long Beach Bombers in the finale of the Salon Series. The Monsters honor the old Fresno Falcons, those who paved the way for hockey in Fresno today. The Monsters took games 1 and 2 of the series and looked for the sweep on Saturday. Dalen Manon scored the first goal of the game, assisted by David's Temple Manis and Corey Herchibis. The Bombers scored three straight goals. The Monsters were looking at a 3-1 deficit. With a minute 47 left in the second period, Davis Temple Mena scored assisted by Logan Dalagala. 21 seconds later, Andrej Gabrhelik scored, tying the game. With 33.7 seconds left in the second, Corey Herchibi scored assisted by Logan Dalagala. The Monsters ended up winning 5-4, a sweep over the Bombers. FHT's player of the game, Dalen Manon. Manon scored two goals and one assist, which proved to be pivotal in the Monsters win. Joseph Agundas talked with Corey Herchibis and Coach Killer Kaminsky. Let's take a look. What's up Fresno, Joseph Gunnis here with FHT. I'm here with Corey Hertzbees. Corey, this was your guys' last game at Selling. How 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 you feeling? Unbelievable. I mean, just to sweep the top team in our division and then on top of it at Selling with a huge crowd. I mean, it was unbelievable. An un unreal way to finish the home the home series. And at and in the second period, you guys had three goals. You had the last the third one of that goal. Uh how what was the feeling after after that moment? Well, you know, I just kind of threw it on net. Coach always says, get it to the point and then shoot it on net. So I did exactly that and when I went in, it was unreal. I mean, just to take the lead with 30 seconds left in the period is huge. What are some of the emotions of sweeping the number one team in the league at here at Selland Arena? It's unbelievable. I mean, Fresno has unreal fans. Uh, and just to, to be at Long Beach in three is, is awesome. No words. All right, thank you very much. What's up, Fresno? Joseph Gunn is here with FHT. I'm here with Coach Kaminsky. Coach, uh, that sh first shorthanded goal by a man in, uh, in the first period, how, was, how crucial was that? Well, that, that was huge. I mean, you know, five on three, usually the other team scores, and we got a, we got a shorthanded goal. Um, great play by them to jump on a loose puck, and then uh, Cody made an awesome play over to uh, Dalen for a wide open net. So that was, uh, that was a huge, uh, huge goal for us, and, and we ended up killing off the five on three too, so that was even better. And how did uh, Beckman's 14 minute uh, penalty uh, affect the team? Well, I mean, you know, we, we talk about it, we gotta be disciplined, and, and you know, all three games, well, Thursday was okay, Friday we were in the box and, and we killed all the penalties. Tonight, and I told them, I said, it's going to catch up to us, fellas. we got to be disciplined. You know, I don't know what happened with this 10-minute misconduct, um, you know, but he, he's got he, to do a way better job of having his m emotions controlled. Uh, you know, he, he put the team down, and, and you know what? But i got to give our uh, guys a lot of credit. They showed a lot of character to come back and... Uh, get three goals of our own like quickly uh, to change the momentum uh, right away. Yeah, and about those three goals, you guys were down three to one. Those goals with less than a minute left in the, in the second period, how, how was, how'd that change the momentum? That was, uh, it was big time. I mean, uh, you know, when, when you play in front of an awesome crowd like this, you know, we got the, the second one by Davids, then we got uh, the next one by uh, Andre, and, and then Corey uh, scored on the power play, I think with like 45 seconds left and you know like I said they we we had to change momentum I mean they they took over they they started controlling the game after they got up three to one and then 
like I said, but you, the boys didn't quit. They never died, and uh, they came back strong. And like I said, they showed a lot of character and resiliency tonight. All right, thank you very much, Coach. From everyone here at FHT, we say thank you for watching. Until next time, go Monsters.